All right, I kind of lost you here. I, I've been trying to squeeze all this in, and I just cannot get it to 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe I'm just talking too much. Um, again, uh, just communication issues, trying to clear those up as well. Uh, external pressure. Sometimes uh, district leaders are subject to external pressures from various stakeholders, including state and federal agencies, advocacy groups, uh, even some community members. Um, these pressures may manifest, a, manifest as mandates, uh, funding constraints, political dynamics, public scrutiny, influence, influencing decision making, uh, the autonomy and, and ability to address local needs and priorities. Uh, <clears throat> you might see some impact on leadership decision making. Um, conflicting priorities may lead to decision paralysis or resource misallocation, um, undermining organizational effectiveness and student success. Uh, communication issues can hinder collaboration, trust building, and stakeholder engagement, and impeding progress and innovation within the district. Um, external um, pressures may limit auto autonomy, flexibility, um, and responsiveness to those local needs um, as well. <clears throat> All right, so uh, speaking about uh, proactive communication, uh, we need to foster open, transparent communication. Um, again, I think I've talked about that enough. Uh, strategic planning, uh, develop clear goals, priorities, and actions, action plans to align resources and, and efforts toward shared objectives. Strategic planning enables district leaders to identify priorities, allocate those resources effectively, and also monitor the progress toward the goals. Um, <clears throat> Stakeholder engagement. Um, yep, there we are. Um, involve, we need to involve stakeholders in decision-making processes to promote the buy-in part of that, ownership and the accountability. Um, by doing that, in, uh, in engaging with stakeholders, including teachers and parents uh, and, and all involved, um, district leaders can leverage uh, the diverse perspectives and build consensus. And again, going back to buy-in. Uh, resilience and, and adaptability. Uh, we need to cultivate resilience, flexibility, and adaptive leadership skills and navigate, navigate uncertainty and un overcome challenges and effectively. Uh, in the face of adversity, district leaders must demonstrate that resilience and adaptability and willingness to embrace change. Um, strategies to address common challenges. Um, proactive communication. Again, transparent communication um, is super important. Um, we need to establish uh, and trans and establish open and transparent communication channels to facilitate dialogue, share information, and address concerns among stakeholders as well. Uh, we need to give them uh, regular updates. Uh, but we need to provide regular updates through newsletters, town hall meetings, whatever it is to keep stakeholders informed about those district priorities, initiatives, and progress. Uh, lately, for our district, it's been um, Facebook uh, with videos from the superintendent um, discussing kind of what's going on in our district. Uh, we need to have feedback mechanisms, um, as, such as surveys, uh, suggestion boxes, and focus groups uh, to solicit input from stakeholders so we can address their needs as well. Uh, some of the strategic planning, uh, goal alignment, we need to make sure that the district goals, priorities uh, are all aligned and resource allocation we have uh, in place to address the conflicting priorities and maximize impact. Um, the data informed decision making, we have to use the data from the evidence, the strategic decisions, monitor progress and identify areas for improvement. Uh, we have to continuous improvement as well. Um, we, we have to embrace a culture of continuous improvement, uh, experimentation, uh, risk taking, uh, learning to adapt and changing circumstances and those emerging challenges as well. All right, collaborative decision making. Involve, we have to involve uh, stakeholders in decision making processes to, to get that buy in and accountability as well. Uh, we have to have partnerships and coalitions. Um, from community organizations, advocacy groups, and other. Uh, we have to cultivate that trust um, and positive relationships with those stakeholders through transparent communication, integrity, and responsiveness. 
resilience and adaptability. Uh, we need flexible leadership. Exhibit we have to exhibit flexibility, resilience, and adaptive leadership in responding to ex unexpected challenges and uncertainties. Um, problem solving skills. We have to develop problem solving skills, creativity, and innovation to overcome obstacles and find uh, sustainable solutions as well. Um, we also have to for, for, excuse me. We have to foster a culture of learning. Uh, reflection and growth mindset among district leaders and, and staff to embrace change and continuous improvement. And that's from Brown and Smith, uh, 2020. Uh, community engagement is a cornerstone of that effective leadership and decision making uh, process. Um, it's going to play a vital role in building the trust. Again, the collaboration piece is there for that as well. Um, effective community engagement. Um, fosters that sense of inclusivity that way everybody feels like part of the plan all right strategies again for community engagement we have to give them opportunities to to give us and to open dialogue uh, for those meaningful engagement uh, pieces with stakeholders, and including parents and everybody else. Um, we have to have participatory uh, decision making. Um, we have to involve them in the decision making process and let them know, let them feel that they are part of it. Uh, we have to demonstrate cultural competence and sensitivity to all those diverse needs in our community. Uh, access, uh, I'm sorry, accessible communication. We have to assure that those communication uh, channels and materials are accessible and culturally relevant to all stakeholders, um, especially when you start talking about um, we have some people in our district that maybe speak Spanish or whatever. Um, that's kind of been my role um, as a former Spanish teacher to reach out to those people as well. Um, community partnerships, again, we need to, to forge those partnerships um, to, to really get an inclusive um idea of what, what everybody wants and needs uh, as long as it aligns with our district initiatives. All right, I think I'm going to wrap this up. It's been going on pretty long. Um, in conclusion, um, the effective leadership, policy development, community engagement and commu uh, are indispensable components of successful district leadership. Um, you know, we can read some of this as well. Um, we, need, we need to know what a school superintendent should do. That way I can Someday when I'm in that role, um, I can do that. I just want to say thank you guys for giving us the opportunity to do this. I'm sorry it went so long. Um, I really felt like I could talk all day about this um, stuff. Uh